right, welcome back. Well, today is the day we're putting on the Qatar belted tires. These are off the Talon EXB, from my understanding. I got two, cut the rear of this body so that the rear tires fit. Now we have the front, as you see, Qatar T belted 6S tires glued black two piece. ARA 550097. If you want, pick yourself up some. So, um, we're going to get these installed. Cleats flew out of one of the wheels, which happens to be the wheels that broke last time. Or the wheel that broke last time. Uh, three wheels have been good. And uh, one wheel, I guess, just couldn't take the RPM. So, I'm going to get these off. We are going to repair the cleat wheels. Um, I haven't given up on them. You guys watch all my videos since I've built these cleat wheels. And some people are like, Earl, why do you keep putting time into these wheels? It's because of the handling. Before, when I hit 76 miles an hour on the stock tires, before the second pass, the tires blew. The stock tires did amazing. And uh, before the stock tire blew... Whenever I'd get up into that 70 mile an hour range, I didn't have control of the RC. Um, we might want to think we're in control, but I was feathering that trigger and could never hit full trigger because the RC was out of control. Every bump it hit, everything, the thing was swaying left and right, the back end kept wanting to come around, we kept barrel rolling the RC. It was like one or two good passes at light trigger and then anything that I tried to be aggressive with, the RC was out of control. So, say what you will, the cleats have really stabilized this RC on grass. So, that's been my point the whole time with these wheels. And I like an RC that I'm in control of. I don't know anybody out there that wouldn't like an RC that you can truly control. So, like I said before, these are um, directional, so we're going to get them put on here. I'm going to have to modify this body to get them to fit in. If I remove the spacers to get these installed. Another thing is, remember, this is a short course truck. It's not an open wheel, so a lot of people are asking me, you know, how's that quest for a hunter going? You know, I knew this was going to be a tough thing with uh, this RC because of it being a short course truck, meaning the wheels are closed behind this body. And I didn't expect this to be easy. Of it being a short course truck, I like to challenge myself. I chose this truck for that reason. Do I think uh, it possibly can go faster on rubber tires? I do, um, just because of the size difference. They are a little taller. Plus, this tire is gonna grow, which at this gearing should give it more mile an hour. It literally pull, pulled out two cleats, one behind the other. And my theory behind this was one pulled out, hit the other one and ripped the other one out. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but we will look at all the other ones. So. Let's get to trimming this body. Let's get these wheels on. Make sure that the direction is right. So how many people out there think that these guitars are, are going to uh, outperform the cleat wheels? I'm hoping that they'll do okay. You guys don't get to feel the control I have on the cleat wheels. You're just taking what you're seeing in the video. And I'm telling you right now, the control you have with the cleat wheels is nothing like I've ever felt before. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm not gonna cut up the whole front of this because when this RC is accelerating, the front is lifting up. So it will collapse, which I will have to get rid of some of this stuff in the front. 
but I'm hoping that I don't have to get rid of this stuff in the back. I'm hoping I can just trim the front up right here. So I'm going to do some marks right where it's kind of hitting to where it'll look halfway decent and not look so bad. It's not the top of the body because somebody was saying, you know, it sucks to see a body cut up like, and I'll use this as a template on the other side. So just turn this the other way. And we're going to go ahead and mark this. So that it's close and then we'll give this thing a trim and yeah they only make these uh, scissors for right-handed people I don't have a pair for left-handed even though I can use either hand right or left I'm more comfortable using my left hand So I can turn there. I don't have much turning when it's collapsed, but hopefully I won't have to turn when it's collapsed. Chassis hitting the ground before the tire is hitting the top of the body. So that's good. want to make sure that they're tight enough and they're not going to strip out and then I'm going to go ahead and get uh, get this thing charged up we're going to take it out and do a rip with it today and see if uh, see if I have control with it so if that's something you want to see go ahead and get the charger and remember um, this RC is now skinnier hopefully the tire doesn't grow to where it hits the front bumper but we'll see. We'll see if we can get faster. I am going to still leave the same batteries in it uh, because I truly want to see if it's the tires making the difference or leaving gearing, leaving everything alone. It's really tough strapping these batteries in this location. So that's the top battery and then the bottom battery. So I'm going to get a charger, we're going to charge this thing up, we're going to get out and rip it. Stay tuned. All right, down at the park, we're going to go ahead and get set up. We're 12 satellites, track, start, it says testing. We're going to hit the onboard camera because some people liked the footage last time. The other park has got some, looks like soccer players playing. So I don't know if we'll be able to uh, run park to park, but this will give me some sort of idea if we're gonna go any faster. So I'm gonna stand farther up this time to this, uh, to these trees. So hopefully I can hit the right area and not hit the sprinklers so i think this is about right we'll kind of aim for me we'll see how this goes let's go just like i figured
tire blew out. Not even one run. And there's you guys' Qatars. I even talked to the guy at the shop and said, how fast have you got these things to? So there goes $100. Not only $100, but the RC is in ruin. But there we go, wheelie bar bent, body all bent up. A lot of damage. Broken wheel, blown out tire, and that's what you get with rubber tires. Stop, read, 68 miles an hour, didn't even hit 70. So everybody out there saying Qatars are the way to go, crap. Both, both right side tires blew out. So I'm gonna have to walk this park and uh, there's gonna be a lot of repairs on this RC now. So like I've explained, rubber tires is not the way to go. 100%. Just wasted $100 and pretty much totaled this RC car. So I'm going to get some thumbnails. I'm going to stop this and we'll be right back. Body all bent up. <laughs> 